Now, in today's program, we're actually going to focus on Feng Shui for Health. Now, last week, we actually already talked about Feng Shui for Romance. In case you have missed out on any of our topics in the previous programs, make sure you log on to joviyap.com and download the notes for the previous episodes. Now, in case you are joining us new in our program, let me just first reintroduce what Feng Shui is to you. Now, Feng Shui, they actually practice today, there are two versions. One of the versions is actually called New Feng Shui, New Age Feng Shui, and the other version is actually Classical Feng Shui. Now, Classical Feng Shui actually focuses on the environment and how we tap to the Qi from the certain environment features and tap into a certain direction for a certain type of premises. So, two things we actually consider, direction and location. Now, some of the times people, when they practice Feng Shui, they think that, oh, I have to decorate my place with tigers and dragons everywhere to make good Feng Shui. Now, actually, that sort of thing is actually more related to culture and superstition rather than it is Feng Shui. Feng Shui actually is very subtle. All that it matters is certain direction, what type of direction you tap into, and which location you are in. And in order to practice classical Feng Shui, you just have to consider two very important factors in when you consider. First of all, is the direction suitable for your type of business or your, type, your house? and is the location itself supporting your endeavours. Two important factors you have to consider. When you say we do Feng Shui, do Feng Shui to one. You must first know what you want in order to practice the correct type of Feng Shui to get what you want. Now, is the Feng Shui answer to all your, your, your goals in life or not? Actually, Feng Shui only represents one third of all your endeavours. Because there's such a thing called heaven luck and such a thing called man luck. Heaven luck is actually your destiny. What you're born with and what you do, what you have, and as well as man luck represents what you do, your decisions you make and the beliefs that you have about yourself. That's very important to understand. Now, Feng Shui helps us in the environment, which type of direction, which type of location that we actually uh, place ourselves in to benefit from the environment to help us in our endeavours. Today's program, I actually have uh, Mr. Eric Leung here and we are actually at uh, one, of his, one of his many clinics in KL and he's a specialist in Chinese orthopedics. And uh, maybe Eric, you can tell us something about what Chinese orthophysics is about? Yeah, uh, in Chinese medicine, uh, we have a variety of scope of uh, healing. Mm -hmm. uh, we are specializing in uh, Thit Ba, means uh, Chinese orthopedics. Uh, mainly deal with dislocations, fractures, as well as sports injuries. I think many people in, uh, don't understand the difference between Thita and acupuncture. Maybe you can give us some details on yes. the differences here. Uh, in the modern form, like uh, medical terms, uh, acupuncturists uh, or acupuncture, they are more dealing with nerves. Whereas the orthopedics, we are dealing more on the bones and joints. This is what our main business. And I understand that you have many uh, branches all over Kuala Lumpur and I think that this is really interesting to actually have a look at your, your feng shui and see why are you so successful yes, and why yeah. so many people come to you and they get healed very quickly. So I think that will be interesting for everyone to watch. Thank you.